Well, good morning, everybody. Um, here we are still trying to do a catch up on these videos. It's a little disconcerting, but we're going to overcome these things because technology is my friend and I am good with technology. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Deborah. Um, so this is the, uh, the reading that deals with Acts uh, 1, 2, and 3. And here we, we see the changes um, in Peter that, that, that are quite definitive. Uh, he, here Peter was always the extremist. He was always bouncing back and forth. He was all over the place. Uh, one extreme one day, the next extreme the next. In fact, he would change within minutes. Um, not what you would want in, in leadership material. And yet Jesus said to him, that after he denied him and and he pulled himself together so, <laughs> i love that after you pull yourself together go and encourage the brethren so he was to be the the that that leader and, and he did he went and he gathered them and he held them together and uh, they were in that upper room um when it came time for the um, for the holy spirit to fall uh, upon them and and uh yeah, we, we see that even before the Holy Spirit, he had gained something in this experience uh, because he showed wisdom in that they had to replace the 12, uh, or the, uh, they had to have the 12, so they had to replace uh, Judas. And um, there are some who said that they were, they were too quick at the draw, that they should have waited, and uh, Paul should have been the 12th apostle. But that's not how it worked because the definition of the apostle, Peter explained it, it had to be somebody who had been with Jesus the entire time. There was only two uh, that they, they had selected. Um, had to be from, with Jesus from, from the day of the baptism uh, to, the, to the day of the crucifixion. And uh, they ended up picking uh, Matthias for that. So Peter showed leadership and, and, he, and he showed wisdom in this. And, and then the Holy Spirit fell. And here we have this uneducated um, Jewish fisherman who stood before a crowd and gave this wonderful um, sermon, speech, testimony, whatever you want to call it. And, and it, was, it, it, it wasn't from himself. We know it was from the Holy Spirit. But this is Peter, now the leader, who was open and the Spirit flowed through him with conviction and touched 2,900 people. Well, no, it said that 3,000 were added, wasn't it? So now there were 3,100 um, followers uh, of Jesus Christ. And then we see in the subsequent um, uh, stories what happened is that the Peter had leadership here. It was, uh, uh, he was the one, him and John, who had to go before the, the Sanhedrin because of the healing. Uh, there was healing taking place. He and John were going out. It was always Peter and John, Peter and John, Peter and John. And uh, we see this radical change in, in who he became. And, and this, we have to be so careful not to judge people um, by what, what, we, what we know of their history. Because uh, it has nothing to do with the history. It has to do with the power of Jesus Christ to transform. People are transformed. Uh, even, even people that we've known, even people who are, are saved, um, continue their transformation, continue to change. So people that you knew five years ago are, are not the same people. People that you knew a year ago shouldn't be the same people. We are in constant transformation. There's no point where we arrive and there's no, no further place to go. It, it, it's, it's huge. We have this huge transformation that we have to go through. And I, I know myself, I've, I've changed so much in one year. In one year, in my understanding, in my approach, in my, in my dealing with people. And so people who think I'm the same person I was 10 years ago, or 20 years ago, or 40 years ago, man, I've lived so many lifetimes, so many lifetimes. I have grown so much. Um, it's, it's not like a, a snake shedding its skin, because it's a process. Uh, the Holy Spirit builds on from what we were. He builds on, he uses those things to build us into the next uh, thing that he, he's bringing us into. So, yeah, this is important stuff. So, let's trust the Spirit, shall we? Trust the Spirit. Test the Spirit, but trust the Spirit that He, that he knows what He's doing. And uh, we look for the best in each other, not the worst. So, you be blessed, encouraged, and enjoy your day.